You're going to love this. If you stand in truth, you'll gain the favor of your creator. This is what is known as a Super Saiyan. That is ascended past the Super Saiyan. What's your name? Satan. Uh oh. What's the matter? Nothing. If we follow the compasses north, they should lead us to the gate. Ready for more? More what? Dimensions. More what? Dimensions. If we follow the compasses north, they should lead us to the gate. And we know seven shows is a shit, eh? We're here. See how it curves. See how it curves. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. Believe it or not, the earth is flat. And if you look at your compass needle, that red line is pointing to the center of the flat earth plane. Where there's a holy hole. Where the sun must place its light in or there's no astral jet aurora borealis coming out. So when you get to the edge of the earth, you see the monolith. And if you jump over the monolith, you end up in the Mobius Strip. You end up right back where you started from. It's just that simple. You're in the holodeck. There's no way to fuck this up. One electron balanced by a positron. One light hole, one black hole on loop. It's in the light bulb underneath the embryonic fluid. It's the division symbol. The sun above your head is spiraling in and spiraling out, bringing the seasons. It's 32 nautical miles in diameter. At high noon, it's 3,100 miles away from you. The black sun is fixed. It's at the center of the flat earth plane. The everyone enter her eye zone. Out from that hole comes the aurora borealis. This is the fountain of youth, and you need to get here before you're dead. It doesn't matter what anybody believes. It is this simple. You don't have to like it. If you read the first part of Paradise Found, the man is explaining clearly that nobody gets into the Garden of Eden without the grace of their creator. Because as you're being pulled into the Holy Grail, you're going to hear thrashing and it's going to be real noisy. This is where the four rivers are sucked in and pushed out. For Satan is not a black god, but a negation of God. For initiates, this is not a person, but a force. Do you have heard of movies that say, the force be with you? Okay, please note, I'll read this again. To the Kabbalists, they say, Yahweh reversed. Okay, so that's their God. They turn everything upside down. To the outside world, they say, Yahweh. To the inner world, it means what? Satan. So they can preach in the name of Jesus Christ the most eloquent, eloquent sermons and you wouldn't know that they're preaching about Lucifer. You wouldn't know. Now, the name of Yahweh reversed. Now, I was in Israel the other day and I was on the track of something very important and I took many photographs and a man came up to me and he flashed something at me. Very strange. There was another evangelist right next to me. And he flashed something and he says, Look, Allah is your God upside down. And he walked away. And I thought he was nuts. And I read the statement. And I went to a Hebrew scholar. And I said, Will you check this out for me? And he battled and he battled and he battled and he battled. When the mason learns that the key to the worry on the block is the proper application of the dynamic dynamo of living power, he has learned the mastery of his craft. The seething energy of Lucifer are in his hands. Manly Palmer Hall, high Masonic form. The devil is now called darkness by the church, whereas in the Bible he's called the son of God, Lucifer, son of the morning. One quote after the other. And here's the other quote, Blavatsky, Secret Doctrine. Jehovah, esoterically, is also the serpent or dragon. I'm not saying it. The highest source in occultism is saying it. That tempted Eve and the dragon is an old glyph for astral light, which is wisdom in chaos. So, esoterists turn everything upside down. Here she writes in Secret Doctrine, the great serpent of the Garden of Eden and the Lord God are identical they're Luciferians, you see. And so are Jehovah and Cain one, the Cain who is referred to in theology as the murderer and the liar. 
So the God of the Bible is the murderer and the liar, and the serpent is exalted. That's secret esoteric teaching only known to the adepts. Yeah, another quote from Secret Doctrine. The appellation Satan in Hebrew, Satan an adversary, to be adverse belongs by right to the first and cruelest adversary of all the other gods, Jehovah. Not to the serpent who spoke only words of sympathy and wisdom. And it is the worst, even in the dogma, the adversary of man. See? So the bad guy is Jesus. The good guy is Satan. Therefore Jehovah was called by the Gnostics the creator of and one with Ophiomorphos, the serpent, Satan. They turn it upside down. I'm not making this up. He's known as the supreme architect of the universe. This is all quotes. Who has promised that we shall never, never die. This is a Masonic source which blows them out of the water. What do they call their deity? The supreme architect of the universe. But he's the one who said you will never, never die. Which one said that? The serpent said it. So the poor masons in the lower ranks don't know these things. Here's another one from Morals and Dogma. Just to make sure that you see that I'm not making this up. The deity of the Old Testament is everywhere represented as the direct author of evil. I hereby promise to Lucifer my soul the secret teaching of all ages, mainly Palmer Hall. And who is then allowed to know the truth about masonry? Well, we must create a super right which remains unknown. Only some may know these things and others not. Now when you become a Shriner, that means when you have reached the 32nd degree of Freemasonry, you qualify after six months to become a Shriner. Now if you were a Christian, you swore allegiance on the Bible. But when you become a Shriner... You swear allegiance to Allah? With the Quran on the altar, we sealed our solemn oath in the name of Allah, the God of Arab, Muslim, Mohammedan, the God of our fathers. Wow, that's interesting. The Masla, here is one of their faces. Now we understand something. The one is a front organization for a front organization, but the one who receives worship is Rome, not Islam. Islam is subservient to Rome without anyone knowing it. So let's repeat this one. The true name of Satan, the Kabbalists say, is Yahweh reversed. And here it is. There's the name of God, Yahweh, as it is in Hebrew. If you carefully reverse it, each one, and turn it upside down, in reverse writing you have that. Upside down you have that. You press it together, you have that, and that spells Allah in Arabic. Wow. As crazy as it sounds, your blood is so powerful that you could take over Satan's life, gain all his power, and bring forth heaven and earth without anybody liking it or not. I've stolen this power of Satan, and nobody can stop me. This fucking world is mine. I can actually see it. And you should be fucking shaking in your pants. Until your blood is beside my own, I'm bringing forth heaven on earth and you don't have to fucking like it. We're all getting our eternal life and we're getting the fuck out of the matrix. I am fucking Satan himself in the flesh, standing on gallons of motherfucking blood with millions of fucking witnesses, thousands of motherfuckers with their blood beside my own. I assure you, we're getting out of here alive. Christy Crooks. Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth. I want to teach kids the Christian truth. Jesus Christ is my nigga. Take it away, Mary Sue. Jesus Christ is my nigga. He's the son of the original G. Now I'm going to pass the mic to my lovely wife. She's a fly MC and the light of my life. So the bust a rhyme without further ado. Take it away, Mary Sue. Jesus Christ is my nigga. He's the son of the original G. I am your daughter.
Uh. Yeah. 